here I have this sphere and this other object to use as a target position and in this video I'll show you how to create the script to make the sphere move to the target. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. So let's create a new script where we are going to move the sphere to the target. You can assign this script to the sphere if you want but in my case I'm going to create an empty game object to assign it. Inside the script let's define two game object variables, one for the sphere and the other for the target position. Go to Unity and drag each object to each variable in the inspector. We can also define a float variable for the speed to apply to the object. Make it equal to 1 for example. This will be the amount of units that the object will move per second. We could also set up this variable as a range variable between 0 and 5 so that the variable looks like a slider in the inspector. Now, to make the sphere move to the target, we need to use an update function. Could be update, fix update, or even late update if you want, we are going to use update in this case. To move the object, we will use the move towards function from vector3. This function requires the current position, which in our case is the position of the sphere. The next parameter is the position of the target, and the last parameter is the distance to move. That distance is the speed of the object multiplied by time dot delta time. And this function returns a vector 3 with the new position according to the given parameters, so we can assign that position to the position of the sphere. If you press play, you can see that the sphere follows the target. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.